Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Welcome here at Crypto Hash Review, where we educate and disseminate information about Bitcoin, cryptocurrencies from a Muslim perspective. And we have a question. Um, Assalamu alaikum wa alaikum assalam. I wanted to know whether I can buy a portion of a Bitcoin, as the price of Bitcoin right now is quite expensive, and I do not have the money to buy a Bitcoin. If it is possible, uh, I am prepared to go through a consultation with yourselves regarding buying, selling, and sending Bitcoin. Jazakallah khair, brother, for your question. So, um, I wanted. Uh, so, with regards to your, the issue of buying a Bitcoin, so it's one of the one of the one of the. Um, I guess the the confusions people have about Bitcoin, because uh, I guess it's, it's due to what's called skeuomorphism. Skeuomorphism basically means whereby when a new system comes along, people struggle to understand the new system so they visualize the new system in old system terms so for example um if i want to buy a penny off of you how would i buy a penny how would i get a penny off of you i mean it's a, it's a whole penny how would i get half of a penny i mean i can get a pound off you but again how would i get less than a pound i can get a ch i can get change of that pound but in terms of the actual pound it's a whole pound um or for example if i was to buy um a book off of you, then effectively you have to buy the whole book. I mean, I can't buy, I can't tear it in half and get half a book. So um, there's this issue of, okay, Bitcoin costs X amount. I can't afford X amount. So what do I do? Well, Bitcoin is digital. And it being digital, which means, and it being digital, that means that you can have fractions of a Bitcoin. And the way Bitcoin actually works is that we have different denominations going down in terms of Bitcoin. We have uh, the small, with, the, with the smallest Bitcoin being 0 0.000001 So three zeros, three zeros, and then another two at the end So you get, you get just so, you get the gist So three zeros, then another three zeros And then at the end of that you've got another zero one. That's a, the smallest unit is called a Satoshi And I think a Satoshi right now is less than a penny So you don't have to have a whole Bitcoin, you can have Fractions of a fraction of a Bitcoin um, You basically, like I said, don't think of buying a Bitcoin as buying a thing Bitcoin is money It's a very highly divisible money actually And you, 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 you think of it as more a conversion from one form of money The crappy fiat Into a more pristine hard money which is called Bitcoin That's, that's, that's the, probably the easiest way to think about it um, As the price of Bitcoin is right high right now So yeah, the price of Bitcoin is higher than it was it being high i can test that because bitcoin has a long way to go before it becomes high uh and i'm talking about over 10 million as being well over that being high right now we're still very early and the reason why i say that is because bitcoin is not the, the price of bitcoin isn't just a reflection of a perceived value it's also a reflection of adoption People, as more people adopt Bitcoin as a currency they want to use in their lives, that price needs to go up to in order to encompass and, and deliver its service to everyone else. Um, if the price right now stayed at what it was, no, we, we couldn't all use Bitcoin. At the current price right now, Bitcoin isn't usable for everyone on planet Earth. Because, for example, if everyone on planet Earth wanted to sell their homes, there actually wouldn't be enough Bitcoin to transact with. So Bitcoin's price needs to be a lot more than what it is now in order for everyone to use it for everything. So it's more of an adoption of how many people are actually using the network and using the Bitcoin. That's kind of the, the price of, of Bitcoin. Um, so it's not really expensive like that. It's just a, just a demonstration of um, uh, adoption. Now, yes, it is expensive to get one Bitcoin. You could say, I get that. But again, you don't need to have a whole Bitcoin. I mean, it's a psychological thing. We attach value to, to, to arbitrary things like a whole Bitcoin. I mean, it's like um, uh, when the price of things go up, sometimes you might find the price of something going up and it stops. Like, like say at 10 pounds or something like that. And why did it stop there? Because people are selling at 10 pounds. Why are people selling at 10 pounds? Because 10 pounds is a whole number. You, you, why would you sell at 10 pounds? Because people love whole numbers, they love actual things to go by. No one wants to sell at ten pounds fifty six. They want to set their price, sell sell orders at ten pounds. Hold. So we have these psychological quirks with human beings. Having one bitcoin is one of those quirks. 
um, no doubt, if you had the whole Bitcoin and you just held that Bitcoin, uh, I would easily guess you'll be able to buy a house by the end of this year or end of end of the next cycle, easily with one whole Bitcoin. I, I that's just how I ask my my view. I could be wrong, but that's just my personal personal view. But um, it doesn't mean that if you don't have a whole Bitcoin that you're poor or anything like that. It, whatever Bitcoin is right now is what it is right now, and the future will be something else. Um, so don't get stuck up on exactly having a whole Bitcoin. Now, can we play with that? Can we play with that psychology? Can we, can we acknowledge that this is a psychological thing? And can we use that to our advantage? Yes, we can. If you know that human beings have an attachment in their head to whole numbers, no one, wants, no, no one wants to have half a Bitcoin or a fraction of Bitcoin. People want to have whole numbers. One, one point something, two, ten even, a hundred even. But I have to say, oh, I have 0 0.001 Bitcoin. It's like, is that all you have? 0. 0.0. People have these, these, these uh, you know, things about, about zeros and fractions, that kind of stuff. People want to have a whole number. So you can play with that. If you know that's how people behave and you know that Bitcoin is the future, then you're, by attaining at least one right now, you're almost guaranteed a ride to where you want to go. What I mean by that is everyone's going to want, I would say in the very near future, Having one Bitcoin is almost going to be a status symbol of riches. It's going to be a case where, oh, that guy's got one Bitcoin. Wow, he must be, he must be, he must be rich. I mean, right now, if you say I had a thousand Bitcoin, then you hear, yeah, definitely you're rich. But I'm saying in the next five to ten years, having one Bitcoin will be that status where I say, wow, he's got one whole Bitcoin. I wish I had one Bitcoin. So Bitcoin is kind of accessible right now right now for, for some people, not everyone, but some people. It was more accessible last year, but this is now. So if you know that and you can get just one Bitcoin now, it might be a stretch, might be difficult, but you can get it right now. I would say play, use that psychology that you know is gonna play out for your future. It's almost like a, it's almost like a sure game, man. Like get one Bitcoin and wait for a couple of years, it's, it's guaranteed almost. Um, whereas, yeah, but if you can't do that, it doesn't mean anything. Just like I said, dollar cost average, set yourself, set yourself a program every week, two weeks, month, a certain amount, 50 pounds, 60 pounds. And if you want to see how it plays out, try out this website called um, DCA BTC, dollar cost average Bitcoin. So DCA BTC.com. And it gives you like a, 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 a um, platform you can put in the details. How much Bitcoin would I have if I just bought 10 pounds every week, every two weeks, every month? spend over the last five years using that to go forward, it will kind of give you a gist of how a plan would work out. It's very good. Try it out. Um, but beside that, inshallah, I hope you find this, this question and this answer very beneficial. And may Allah give you many Bitcoin. Assalamu alaikum wa